What is going on my super sandwiches? Rhymestyle here and today we're back with another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video and today we're going to be taking on the cooler fights, the cooler event that, that I did actually a couple days ago featuring a mono strength team. Now as I already mentioned in that video, at the end of that video, I won the trash game featuring the AGL setup. Uh, last time I ran mono strength which obviously I have the advantage at the end. I have a disadvantage in the middle when you have to face off against agility units but overall though uh, once you get past that it's very very easy. Now the question is, is how will we fare? When we don't have the advantage at all. Uh, yeah, at all. Because all you fight in this are basically agility, agility, and then physical unit from what I remember. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and test it out featuring Vegeta as the, the character. I don't have the luxury of running um, of running uh, uh, an amazing Goku. So let's see what happens now when I run this team. This is my, my current setup. I'm still working on um, the better setup for this right now. I have Rose because he can basically supply himself uh, with key. Um, but I'm working on getting uh, my AGL Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, which I finally pulled in Double Ray Banner uh, Awakened. I actually need to get, I want to say, 21 more medals, something like that. So three more runs. And then I can awaken him into his uh, TUR version Vegeta and see how that runs out. All right, without further ado, let's go ahead and test this out against um, a Mono AGL team. Here we go. Wow, my hair looks so goofy like this. Seriously, it, it, it just won't go down. I, it just it just it's stuck like this. So I'm just gonna be in Gohan mode for the rest of the video. All right, let's go up this way so we can get some key. Let's do two. Give me some key. Yes. Ooh, perfect. Give it to him. Actually, if you're gonna give me key, I would not mind if you give it to uh, Rose. Rose or Rose needs it the most out of anybody. Go up here. Come on, Rose. Ah, uh, not him. I don't need it for them. I need it for freaking Rose, man. My um, Goku Black is the one that needs it the most. All right, there we go. We got one. We got one key. That's nice. All right, now we get four. Come on, fingers crossed that we get it for Rose, and we're gonna give it to Gohan. Well, not Gohan, uh, but Goku instead. All right, let's see how we do using a mono AGL team right now. Now I should be fine, but the real test is gonna be the final part because physical it's gonna be a neutral, neutral basically. But he still hits pretty damn hard, and um, I won't have the top advantage of being able to be able to kill him in like one shot because that's the one thing that Vegeta doesn't have. In this. Speaking of Vegeta, look at that. 64,000 defense. <laughs> oh my gosh. 64,000. That is just absolutely disgusting. Okay, let's, let's kill him first because I don't like his face. We'll do that. Uh, we'll aim for you as well. And then you can get that one. Let's see if we can... I'm not even going to aim him. I'm just going to just attack blindly and see what happens. 85, just as expected because that defense is freaking... His tankiness is so amazing. That's what I love about this Vegeta so much is he's very tanky. Blast him with that. There we go. 1.2 million. Nice. Okay. That was that, That's kind of unexpected to be honest. I expect him to do a little bit less. Then again, that was the friend one. The friend one does have a um, super attack 10. Mine has 7. Ooh, we got an additional attack, but we're just a regular. My uh, Vegeta only has a super attack of uh, 7. Um, been working on him. If I can get through other cards, I'll max him out and I'll work on further improving my agility team. But right now, my, my strength team is my go-to for that. All right, see what we got. This is my Vegeta. Here we go. My Vegeta, 29,000 defense. I think uh, the other one was that high. Just kidding, 43,000. The reason why the other one must have been that high, I think it's because of the dupe system. I didn't check the stats before I obviously started recording, but um, that guy's a beast. Let's put you, you know what? We'll keep you, I'm, I'm going to keep you around here. And the reason why is because uh, I don't want to lose, I don't want to lose Vegito for two turns because Vegito's uh, counters are going to be coming in clutch once we get to the next round. So these three guys should be able to finish him off. If not, well, I have to rethink my life. Then again, he does have the tech advantage here, but let's see if we can finish this off. All right. Uh, oh, no, no, no way surviving. There's no way. Final shine, blast him in the ball sack, and boom, gone. Death. 365,000 despite having the advantage over me. That's fine. All right, here we go. Kuda, Kuda's here. Let's see if Cooler can actually do anything here. Is Cooler actually useful? Right now, he's not. Okay. So, once again, we're going to go ahead and toss out Vegeta in the front because, gosh, his tankiness is just disgusting. Let's link these two together. And, unfortunately, it looks like... Can I get a bit of link? Looks like I'm going to... Uh, mm, this turn might kind of suck, to be honest. This turn might suck. You know what? Let, let's see what happens. Maybe we can get an... Oh, wait, I'm just kidding. We can get um, Black to attack. And, in fact... Uh, no, I'm going to save those. I'm going to save those for... The next turn. Let's see what happens. 97 damage. Okay. I'm more just curious to see how much uh, damage he'll tank. 
10. I was hoping that one of them would do a super attack, but that's okay. Let's see if uh, Rosé can finish off Cooler here. Got the critical. Didn't finish him off though, but it was close. It was very close. Here comes the, the supers. Here come the supers. Look at that. Look at that. There come the supers. So, uh, 136,000 HP right now, which is going to be uh, it's kind of a disadvantage right there. I'm not going to lie. It's, it's kind of a big disadvantage. Um, what can we do here? Let's see their attack. You know what? I think that the best thing to do is, is this right here. So, we'll finish off. You know what? Let me attack him first. Because I think I can kill Salza with one shot. Um, and then these two should be able to do the rest. I'm not going to pop an energy pill yet or uh, a Sensu. Not Sensu, but a Dende yet. Um, let's see what happens. Blast him with that. That should kill Salza easily. Yes, yes. Yeah, Salza's dead. He's definitely dead. And we got an additional attack. That could finish it up. Oh, it was close. It was close. But he tanked that 41 uh, damage hit. So let's go ahead and take it to the final part, I think. Wait, no, no, no. Uh, there's still one more round after this, isn't there? Yeah, he, go he goes into that mode first. And then he transforms. Got it, got it. All right. Agility cooler. Now we're getting into the actual boss part aspect of this. So uh, I'm gonna use a friend one again. You know what? I'm not going to pop a anything yet, and the reason why is because honestly, I want to see, I, I want to see what I can do. To be honest, so we'll do this, and then Rose, Rose, whatever name you prefer. Actually, let me ask you guys: Do you guys prefer Rose or Rose? Comment down below. I'm curious to know what the community thinks. Let's see if he does a super attack on me. How much it will do? I kind I kind of want him to super me actually. I want him to super me actually. See what happens. Six hundred uh, ten thousand. Okay. No super from the looks of it. Nope. No super. Okay, you're just gonna go for regular attacks. That's fine. Alright. Uh, hit him with one of these. I love that move. That move is so badass. Super badass. 96,000. And then uh, what can Rose do here? Um, let's see if we can get a crit. Go for a crit. Give me a crit. Give me a crit. Ah, uh, no crit. That's fine. That's fine. But additional attack. Maybe this will be a crit. Maybe he heard me. He was like, I got you. You want a crit? Here's a crit right here. And we got... No, 378,000. Okay, okay, okay. That's fine. Um, you know what? Maybe this time I will use a, uh, I will use a, de maybe a cargo. You know what? Let's use cargo because cargo I don't really need. Um, so we'll just kind of recover half our HP, which basically we, we are at half, at the halfway point anyway. So that should be fine. We'll put you in the front. You know what? Let's do this actually. We'll put Vegeta there. I can possibly get two, potentially two counters. Unless I get super, in which case I wish that I would have put much more call right there, but whatever. We'll, we'll chance it. We'll chance it. And in fact, let's try to go for a stun as well with our boy uh, Ultimate Gohan. So let's see what happens here. So first one, predicted it right. All right. Hit him with a the sword. Then we got to go, got to get him with a super attack. And then, gosh, I just keep seeing like the, the, the goofiness of my hair and it just bothers me in my own face cam. We got the double counter. All right. We predicted it right. This should kill him. Yep. All right. Let's take it to the final round. Now, this is the part where I really wanted to test out how an AGL team would work. Now the good news is, is I can tank the ultimates um, with with Vegeta pretty well. However, the real question is, is what happens what happens outside of that? So here we go. Uh, okay, so our health is pretty much full, right? Okay, we're off by like 100 HP or whatever. Let's do let's do the green for you, and let's do the purples for, for Goku there at the end. He's attacking a lot, oh my gosh. Here we go. All right, so we got a super attack, here we go. I love the animation of his attack, by the way. It looks so badass. I'm not gonna lie, it's partially a bootleg version. 109,000 still? Despite having that high defense. Oh my gosh, that did a lot. That did a lot. This is exactly what I wanted to test out. Oh my gosh. The, no, Vegeta's pissed. Vegeta is pissed. He's like, you know what? Fine. You wanna hit me twice? Here you go. Take this. 736,000 second time. That's nice. Dude, oh my gosh. He. I wonder if I'll die actually, because he's still gonna hit me, I think, two more turns? It's close. <laughs> it's very close. I think next turn I'll have to use a Baba for sure. Yeah, we'll definitely have to use a Baba for sure. All right, let's do this. Let's, uh, let's first pop a quick, uh, my boy Dende. Yo, Dende, hook it up, hook it up. <laughs> and then we'll use a Baba because, well, <laughs> I don't think I can survive one of those again. Remember, that was, a, that was a friend Vegeta too that has a lot of defense. Mine is stuck at uh, 43,000, which is still nice, but it shows you the value of defense. It shows you the value of defense. So let's actually do this. He's attacking three times right there, so, so I might as well, you know, get the counters with you. Um, we'll give you those, and then the the blues can go to Rose. And I think I should be able to kill him this turn. Let's see what happens. All right, here's a counter, 118,000. Yeah, I should be able to take him on this turn. If not, it'll be very, very close. Very, very close. Here we go. 
I also want to do more experimental videos like this where uh, I'm not using my main team. I mean, obviously, my mono AGL team is like my secondary team. So it's kind of like my main one. But I'm going to switch it up and try doing other stuff every now and then to see how I fare against these boss events. Because running the same mono strength team can get redundant and kind of easy at times. And we finish it off with the final shine. Look at that. So yeah. Um, so if you guys want to see any specific teams against specific events, feel free to sh suggest the ones that you want to see down below. But that, that's it. All right. So, huh. Difficulty wise, honestly, using items. Keyword items. Using items, this was easier than running a strength team just because when you find that agility unit in the middle, uh, Salza, and then that uh, cooler that goes agility, that was actually pretty annoying to run with the mono strength team. I basically had to rely on a critical attack to get that. But um, with, the, uh, with the lack of having a disadvantage most of this entire round, Running a mono AGL team was a lot easier. The only problem that came uh, <laughs> came to question was when you get to the last part where Cooler basically is in his final form and uh, he hit for 109,000 against my buffed up Vegeta. That's the crazy part. 64,000 defense. 109,000. Still. Insane. This guy hits so freaking hard. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like button below if you have any questions, comments, feedback. Drop me a comment. Let me know what you guys pulled as far as summons. And other than that, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the day. My name is Rhyme Style, and I'll see you guys in the comment section below. Peace.